The English Channel Tunnel, located between the Port of Dover in the United Kingdom and the Port of Calais in France, is currently the longest undersea tunnel in the world. The total length of this tunnel is 50.5 kilometers, of which the underwater part is 37.9 kilometers long. In 1986, France and Britain signed the famous Treaty of Canterbury and jointly decided to build this historic tunnel. After more than eight years of construction and a cost of up to 15 billion US dollars, the tunnel was finally officially opened on May 7, 1994. To date, it carries up to 18 million passengers every year. The cargo volume reached 8 million tons, making it an important transportation hub connecting the two countries. However, with the continuous development of science and technology, various parts of the world have begun to build various undersea tunnels. These projects are not limited to railway tunnels but also extend to road and subway tunnels. In Jiaozhou Bay, Qingdao, China, engineers are working on building a stunning undersea road tunnel. It is expected that by 2027, this ambitious project will set a new record and become the largest and longest undersea road tunnel in the world. In today's video, we will take a look at this amazing undersea tunnel project and what methods the Chinese engineering team will use to build it. Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. Qingdao is a city located on Jiaozhou Bay in eastern China. Although this spectacular sea area adds endless charm to the city, it has also become a problem on its development path. This is because Jiaozhou Bay divides the city into two, forming a pattern of east and west coasts. In the past, urban development focused mainly on the east coast, resulting in uneven resource integration on the east and west coasts. However, with the completion of the Jiaozhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge and the first undersea tunnel, cross-strait interconnection has opened up a new path for urban development. However, as the connection between the main urban area and the west coast new area becomes increasingly deepened, traffic volume increases sharply, especially during peak tourist periods, and traffic congestion problems are particularly prominent. To address this challenge, the Qingdao municipal government proposed an ambitious plan to build a second undersea tunnel in Jiaozhou Bay. As far as I know, this undersea highway tunnel will traverse Jiaozhou Bay, end near Qingdao port, and be connected to the urban area on the east coast of Qingdao through viaducts. According to the plan, the main line of the Jiaozhou Bay second undersea tunnel has a total length of 17.48 kilometers, of which the tunnel section is 14.37 kilometers long and the sea section is 9.55 kilometers long. According to Chinese engineers, the construction of this undersea road tunnel will be carried out at a depth of more than 100 meters below sea level. The tunnel is designed as a two-lane, two-way, six-lane tunnel, with an intermediate service tunnel added to the main tunnel. The entire project is expected to cost approximately 17 billion yuan and is scheduled to be completed and put into use by the end of 2027. In order to build this amazing undersea tunnel, Chinese engineers previously conducted a series of rigorous surveys of the project planning area. Like all undersea tunnel engineering problems, the huge seawater depth brings huge seawater pressure, but this time the engineering difficulty is obviously higher than before. Because the seabed where the Jiaozhou Bay second undersea tunnel is located is not only deeper, but also the seabed is at the junction of hard rock layer and soft rock, and there are 20 fractured and broken zones. Because submarine tunnels need to pass through complex and changeable, unevenly soft and hard formations and fault zone strata over long distances. Under such circumstances, if a submarine road tunnel is built above the seabed, there will be a risk of the tunnel being penetrated by seawater and causing tunnel collapse. Nonetheless, Chinese engineers have found a suitable solution. In order to prevent tunnel collapse, water seepage and water intrusion, they innovatively designed the tunnel part under the seabed, with the deepest point 115 meters above sea level. To excavate this deep-sea tunnel, the engineering team used a giant shield machine named Haitian. 
The total length of the Haitian shield machine reaches 142 meters, and it is equipped with advanced intelligence systems such as a telescopic main drive and a telescopic excavation bin monitoring system. In the design of the working system, the shield machine uses a combination of a short screw conveyor, a gravel box and a gravel machine, which effectively reduces the problems caused by the accumulation of debris. Due to its complex mechanical structure, the weight of this shield machine is as high as 4,275 tons, which is approximately equivalent to the total weight of 2,100 cars. Thanks to the integration of a variety of advanced technologies and its targeted design, the Haitian shield machine has become a key construction equipment in the Jiaozhou Bay Second Submarine Tunnel Project. With the official launch of this ambitious project, the Haitian shield machine will excavate a 3,255 meter long tunnel. Once activated, it can excavate a tunnel with a diameter of approximately 15.6 meters underground. The entire excavation work will start from the Qingdao port terminal. The shield machine will dig towards the east coast and establish a prefabricated concrete ring pipe on the seabed to strengthen the tunnel and prevent collapse. At the same time, the gravel system inside the shield machine also began to operate efficiently, clearing the excavated earth and rock out of the tunnel. It is reported that the efficiency of the Haitian shield machine in digging tunnels has increased by more than three times compared with the past. Currently, tunnel excavation work has reached a depth of 90 meters below sea level, of which 340 meters of excavation and tunnel pipe installation have been completed for the service tunnel project, while the total excavation distance of the mainline tunnel has reached 1,190 meters. As the Jiaozhou Bay Second Undersea Tunnel project progressed, the engineering team encountered a severe challenge. Because the tunnel is located deep under the sea, the oxygen content inside it is seriously insufficient, and a large amount of exhaust gas will accumulate. This environment can lead to accidents for people traveling through tunnels due to lack of oxygen and exhaust pollution. To this end, Chinese engineers came up with an innovative solution, building ventilation shafts to facilitate air circulation inside the main tunnel. According to the engineering design, the shafts of these undersea tunnels resemble vertical chimneys. Professional exhaust and ventilation equipment will be installed at both ends of the shaft to introduce fresh air into the interior of the tunnel and exhaust polluted air at the same time. This solution is equivalent to assembling a necessary breathing system for the Jiaozhou Bay Second Undersea Tunnel, effectively solving the problems of exhaust emissions and oxygen supply. As the depth of the tunnel continues to increase, the engineering team faces another challenge, if an accident occurs inside the tunnel, can the rescue team arrive at the scene in time? To combat this, the engineering team cleverly designed service tunnels while the main tunnel was being excavated. Because the excavation section of the service tunnel is relatively small, its excavation speed is relatively fast, thus becoming the test object of the main tunnel. The service tunnel can not only provide geological and structural information for the main tunnel, but also reduce construction risks. Moreover, in an emergency, the rescue team can quickly enter through the service tunnel and quickly reach the accident scene through the lateral passage to implement effective rescue. These innovative designs demonstrate China's ability to address complex engineering challenges. With the advancement of the Jiaozhou Bay Second Submarine Tunnel Project, it will be the world's largest subsea tunnel using the drilling and blasting method and the shield method. It is also the super project with the largest construction scale, longest length and the most difficult construction in the field of tunnel engineering in China. Although compared with the English Channel Tunnel, the scale of this undersea tunnel is still not the largest in the world, but it has surpassed the built Rifulka Tunnel in Norway. I believe that after 2027, this undersea highway tunnel will be open to traffic smoothly. By then, it will be another sign of success for China in conquering the undersea tunnel.